Thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise in opposition to these amendments and uh, to the governor's uh, letter. Um, in the governor's letter, um, he said Montanans who struggle with their gender identity deserve love, compassion, and respect. That's not what trans Montanans need from you. We need access to the medical care that saves our lives. And these are hollow words coming from someone whose amendments are going to make it harder to access that care. The bill says it does not prohibit social affirmations. That's not necessarily too true. It prohibits the use of state buildings for advocating for or allowing a social transitioning. Um, it says that it allows the access to psychotherapy that treat Montanans struggling with their gender identity. If you disallow the use of the medical care that is accepted by every major medical association, if you disallow that care, and don't allow people to, to have access to that. The only therapy left is either A, meaningless, or B, conversion therapy, which is torture. I also want to point out, again, gender-affirming care is not Orwellian newspeak, as it says in this letter. It is accepted by every major medical association. I will also say what I said down committee earlier. Uh, this bill uses, um, tries to define male and female as binary. You could not legislate binary sex any more than you could legislate the, that the earth is flat. Intersex people exist, trans people exist, and this bill doesn't change that. Um, Lastly, I would say that there were conversations at the end of this, uh, at the very end of the bill, uh, the letter that says life-altering medical procedures should wait until they are adults. Um, what I will say is if you are, by this bill and by the, what these amendments do, if you are forcing a trans child to go through puberty when they are trans, that is tantamount to torture. And this body should be ashamed. And if you vote yes on this amendment and yes on this bill, Ooh, I love this. Does everyone want to stand? Representative Zefser, would you like to close? Uh, sorry, I'm yielding to the Majority Leader. Majority Leader Venton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I speak on behalf of our caucus. We will not be shamed by anyone in this chamber. We are better than that. Representative Zephyr. And the only thing I will say is if, I, if you vote yes on this bill, and yes, on these amendments, I hope the next time there's an invocation, when you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands. Seeing no further discussion, rep the chair recognizes Majority Leader Vinton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will note that that is entirely inappropriate, disrespectful, and uncalled for. We can debate matters civilly and with respect for each other. Thank you. Thank you, Majority Leader. Representative Seekins-Crow, would you care to close?